Discoverer 13 roars aloft from a California launching pad. It's lucky 13, because after 17 orbital passes around the Earth, the missile's payload, a data capsule, is dropped to Earth and recovered 330 miles from Hawaii, the first man-made object ever recovered from outer space. Ceremonies in the White House mark the historic feat. Air Force Chief General Thomas White addresses the President. Within this capsule, Mr. President, are a great many telemetering equipments and other scientific devices. However, there is one other package, which is a national flag. This flag contains 50 stars. It is perhaps significant that this flag was released from orbit in outer space in the vicinity of our 49th state and recovered in the vicinity of the 50th state away. On behalf of the Secretary of the Air Force, the officers, the airmen, the civilians, and our scientific in and industrial team, I am proud, Mr. President, to present you this flag of the United States of America. Thank you, Tom. It's a real present. Closely following the recovery of the Discoverer capsule at Cape Canaveral, another historic satellite is ready for launching. In this nose cone is packed the 100-foot balloon of Echo-1 to be carried into orbit by a Thor-able Delta rocket. It's only the second firing of this three-stage missile, but the 92-foot rocket performs flawlessly. This launching, closely followed by successful tests of Atlas and Polaris rockets, was a landmark in America's spectacular two-day display of progress in space research. Once aloft, the inflatable balloon satellite, the height of a 10-story building, immediately proved its worth by bouncing from its surface a recorded talk by the president from New Jersey to California. The radio mirror satellite as bright in the northern sky as the brightest star reflected Ike's recorded talk with impressive clarity and fidelity. In itself a major feat of America's spacemen, Echo-1 foreshadows a new era in global communications when a chain of sister satellites will closely link all parts of the globe. Another of America's spectacular series of achievements in space research over the Mojave Desert. The X-15 rocket plane is carried to a height of 45,000 feet by its mother craft. Then the rocket plane cuts loose, and on a four-minute burst from its rocket engine, it soars to a height of nearly 25 miles to the very fringe of outer space, higher than man has ever ventured before. At 131,000 feet, test pilot Major Robert M. White saw the Earth below, the blue of the sky, and the deeper hue of space itself. The record flight of Major White is but another stage in the program that may culminate with a rocket plane actually flown into its own orbit.